Hello everyone. Here we have a beautiful Olympiad mathematics. X to the power of 3 plus X equals 30. And the question says we should solve this completely. What should we do? Let's bring 30 to the left. X to the power of 3 plus x minus 30 is equal to 0. Now, what if I try to write 30 in this form? So, we'll be having x to the power of 3 plus x minus open bracket 30 is 27 plus 3. And everything is equal to 0. I'm going to use this because I can write 27 in this form and 3 will be there for x. But since we have to solve it completely, we cannot conclude that x is just 3. That will not give us a complete solution. x to the power of 3 plus x minus, open bracket, we have 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 equals 0. So if you look at this, you see that this is already like this and this is for this. But we can open this bracket x to the power of 3 plus x minus 3 to the power of 3 minus 3 equals 0. Now let's regroup x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. Then I have um, plus x minus 3 equals 0. So I can deal with this separately and deal with this separately. But if you have this, let's say we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is equal to a minus b, close that, into a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay, so this is what we have. And I'm going to apply the same thing. I'm going to express this in this form. Our a minus b is x minus 3. Then a squared, that will be x squared, plus ab, that will be x times 3, and it's 3x, plus b squared, that will be 3 squared, and it is 9. Then we close this, plus I pick this, x minus 3, if you like, you have it in brackets, and it equates to 0. Now, from these two, something is common. x minus 3 is here, and it's over there. So let's factorize x minus 3 out. Then here I have x squared plus 3x plus 9. Then I equally have 1 here because x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 will give plus 1. Then we close this and equate to 0. x minus 3 is still a factor. Then here we have x squared plus 3x. Then 9 plus 1 is 10. Equate to 0 like this. Now, we can apply zero product true. This either this is equal to zero or this is zero. But if x minus 3 is equal to zero, that means that x is equal to zero plus 3, and our x is 3. This is the real solution to this problem. But because we are to solve it completely, we are going back to this. So, we have um, x squared plus 3x plus 10 equals 0. We will use our formula, which is x equals minus b plus plus or minus. Then we have square root of b squared, right? Then minus 4ac. Everything is over 2 times a. x will be equal to minus b, which will be 3 minus 3 because b is 3 plus or minus we have square root 
we have square root of b squared, that will be 3 squared, then minus 4 times a is 1 times c, which is 10. Then we divide the whole of this by 2 times 1 because a is still 1. Now x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus, then we have 3 squared. There's no need to put this 3 squared in brackets because there's no negative, right? So we have 9 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 10 is 40. Then we divide this by 2. Okay. Sorry, I wrote that out of sight. So this is what we have. Now, what do I do? Let's subtract this. Do not find the square root of 9 and find the square root of 40. Just subtract before finding the square root. x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus. Then we have 9 minus 40, which will give us minus 31. So the whole of this will be over, over 2, right? Okay, remember this is negative um, 31. So what do I do? X from here is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 31, then multiply by square root of negative 1. Then we divide all of this by 2. Okay, so we continue from here. Now, our x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus. We have um, square root of 31 multiplied by square root of negative 1 is imaginary. So we put i, then this is over 2. This can be rearranged so that x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus. We have i square root of 31. Then we divide by 2. Now, I wouldn't want us to get the decimal value for square root of 31. So we can say that our x is equal to minus 3 plus i square root of 31 over 2 or minus 3 minus i square root of 31 over 2. So this is what we have. Now bringing the three solutions together, we got x1, which is 3 before. Then we have x2, which is minus 3 plus i square root of 31 over 2. Then our x3, which is minus 3 minus i square root of 31, and that is over 2. So these are the three solutions to the equation. Thank you for watching to the end.